Hey what's going on guys, Toddy and today we're going to be having a look at overclocking your monitor. So basically how to overclock your monitor, it's very simple, easy steps and it, can, it do, will not break your monitor, just bear in mind, all it will do is if it doesn't work it will just black screen and you can just get it back to normal easily. So I have a NVIDIA GPU and um, basically as soon as I right click there is a NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have this you're going to have to download um, your drivers again or your graphics card that you have um, manually instead of using GeForce Experience as this won't come with it so you'll need to download them manually and then what you should have is when you right click on your desktop is in the video control panel so as soon as we're on the video control panel we're going to get this page and what we're going to have to click is change resolution so the monitor I'm using is a BenQ GL2450 so this is the monitor, it's a 2 millisecond response time, it's a TM panel and um, it's 60 hertz standard refresh rate. So as you can see, native 60 hertz um, and what we're going to do is we're going to click customize. So refresh rate that this monitor can actually do is 80 hertz, which is pretty crazy really, that's about a 33% increase from 60. That's actually pretty decent. But I usually like to keep it at 75. So what you want to do is probably just go up in tens test if you have a black screen you just kick escape and then what it'll do is it'll just go back to the standard 60 and then just keep going down basically so if i go to 80 it will work but as soon as i go to 81 the screen looks a bit different which is a bit weird so basically i have to go back down to 80 i can't use 81 for some reason it's just how it works your screen may fuzz or anything if it fuzzes doesn't look right you just click escape and go down that's all you need to do so I'm going to test mine at 80 and it works I'll show you what happens if I do it over 80 so here I am on the screen right now and basically what I'm going to show you is uh, we've just put it at 80 Hertz up there and then what we're going to do is we're going to change it to 81 so as you can see I'm going to change this to 81 So just bear in mind this screen goes up to the top which is about there but if I change this to 81 for some reason the screen gets a bit smaller if you can see as you can see this is where the screen ends at the top which is just about there and it gets a little bit smaller so it doesn't use the full screen so that's where I know where it's not going to work so if I try 90 see I'm out of range I'll get nothing so I'm just going to click escape and then we're back that's how you know it will not work so every screen reacts differently some screens flicker some screens just like do this weird the resolution changes and some screens just blank out and don't do anything you may not even be able to overclock at all on your monitor so just bear in mind that um, it doesn't always work so I'm going to go back to 80 because I know that works so here we are, we have our 80 hertz, and we're going to click apply. So I can already feel that the mouse is a lot smoother than it was, and like moving things around just feels a lot smoother uh, than it usually was. So we've got our 80 hertz, and then we can either test it in CSGO, which usually what I do is I force it to use 80 hertz, if I go down to properties and set launch options, my frequency at 75, because I usually use 75. If I change it to 80 and click OK, I'll leave this command in the uh, description. It's just minus freak um, space 80. Now we can click play. So to test out, see if we've actually got our 80 hertz, what we're going to do is we're going to type in mat underscore info in CSGO, and then we're going to click enter. And then what you want to be looking for is this. So basically you'll see display mode and as you can see it's at its 80 hertz so if we go into a game we can see if it's actually any better than it was so i'm in a game right now and just by moving left and right i can already feel it feels a lot smoother so if you're on the cheap and you're running a 60 hertz panel like me basically this will improve probably your gameplay and uh, might actually give you a better um, competitive edge of the game due to it being a lot smoother when people are passing cross mid um, on dust and um, you might actually, it might actually improve your gameplay. I feel like it's a lot smoother when I'm using the op. It's um, more um, easy to control, if you know what I mean, compared to it being a bit jittery, compared to 60. 
Um, people do say that 60 is very low for um, like this game, and um, basically I'm getting you about a 33% increase, maybe more. I mean, I don't know if it's possible, but I, I'm very lucky to get a very good um, monitor that can actually overclock very well. Um, so hopefully this video was useful to you, and, and tell me what overclocks you got from your monitor. Uh, bearing in mind, you may be actually able to overclock 144Hz panels to maybe 150 or something, but I do know that they are very hard to overclock compared to 60Hz panels. So give it a try and just see what you